Hey everybody, it's Jay Goodison from Encodian. So we're gonna continue our series on our utility actions and today we're gonna to have a look at removing text between values. So I'm gonna set up a really simple flow to demonstrate this. Um, let's just give this flow a name, we're gonna demo. Remove text between values. And what we're gonna do on the trigger I'm gonna add some inputs. Before I do that, I'm just gonna show you what the action looks like. So let's just pop in, we'll use search, remove text between, should do that for me. Remove text, but here we go. So you'll see what I'm able to do is provide a text value or a string, um, and then I can specify a start value and an end value. So in essence, what I'm saying, with this string value that I'm giving you, I'm gonna specify where I want you to start removal from and where I want you to end removal on. So really simple. So in this flow I've just created, I'm just gonna add some input. So let's just call it, we'll just call it text. And then we can have two more. We'll just call it start. And let's call the last one end. So now we've got three properties. That's nice and straightforward. We'll jump onto the action. We'll just pop these values in. So insert some dynamic content. I'm gonna choose those properties I've added. So we've got text, we've got a start point, uh, bear with me, and we've got an end point as well. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is that that'll be processed. I've got some additional options down the bottom, so I can choose whether I wanna ignore a case, so basically the start and end points would not be case sensitive. I can opt whether I wanna trim the result, which would remove any white space. Uh, between the extraction points and I can also specify whether I want to include the values from removal so I could say take both out leave them both in I could say remove the end value as part of the removal or just remove the start value as part of the removal but I'll leave that as none for now last thing I'll do is I'll just create um, an email to be sent just so we can show how to use the the value coming back from the action so let me just do send email notification. We'll just call this uh, text removal tool um, processed. Oh, sorry. Process value, and then I can select. Um, so the, the process value will always be for the utility actions in the result property. So I can just select that result there. So I should see the the text I pass in with obviously the value that's been, I've specified to be removed. So let's give this a test. And let's do save. Okay, let's manually test the flow. We can pass in, we can sign in there. Here's the text. We're gonna our start point and we're gonna get our end point. No, you just use the same values, it's fine. Click run flow. We'll click done and that's going to run through and I'm going to have that email that's going to be sent to me. So let me just uh, go and find that. Okay, and here we go. So there's the text value with the text specified that's been removed. Um, as ever, if you've got any questions about this particular action, uh, you can email us at support at uh, and don't forget to check the documentation out at support.encoding.com.